Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss the example for the binomial expansion where the n is a negative integer. So before we expand, we need to make sure the format is the same as 1 plus x to the power of n. So in here, suppose the 2 must be equal to 1. So now we are going to uh, make some operation okay, to factor up the 2 so that we have 1 plus x, the format. So 2 minus x to the power of negative 1. And I'm going to factor out the 2. So factor out the 2, we will have 1 minus x over 2 okay to the power of negative 1 so this is the internally then following the next step I'm going to expand so 2 to the power of negative 1 1 minus x over 2 to the power of negative 1 so meaning that the final answer will be 1 over 2 bracket 1 minus x over 2 to the power of negative 1 so it's equals to 2 minus x to the power of negative 1. So now we already reached the general format. So which is begins with the 1. So now I'm going to expand this part. So my n will be equals to negative 1 and my x will be negative x over 2. So 1 over 2 for the expansion, 1. Substitute the formula, negative 1 negative x over 2 plus negative 1 negative 2 over 2 factorial negative x over 2 to the power of 2 plus the fourth term will be negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 over 3 factorial negative x over 2 to the power of 3 so here we are we are going to Simplify the situation. So we will have 1 over 2 bracket 1. For this case, we will have positive x over 2. For this case, we are going to have 2 divided by 2 factorial, we will have 1. Okay, so after we square the negative x over 2, we will have our answer positive x squared over 4 okay so the final part here we have negative 6 okay here we have negative 6 divide by 6 we will have negative 1 here we are going to have negative x cubed over 8 so multiply we are going to have a positive x cubed over 8 okay so further we are going to have 1 over 2 after we expand plus x over 4 plus x square over 8 plus x cubed over 16 so this is the expansion for 2 minus x to the power negative 1. So now we are going to find the validity. So if you want to find the validity, you must refer to this form. Okay? The terms must be 1 plus x. So now I'm going to substitute negative x over 2. So after we using the properties for the absolute value, we will have negative 1. until 1 so my final answer will be negative 2 until 2 okay where negative 2 and 2 is not included so our answer will be negative 2 until 2 where the value is not included valid for this expansion meaning that when you want to substitute the value into this expansion, it only valid when the value that you are substituting is in between negative 2 and 2. Otherwise, not valid. So here we are. And thanks for watching.